Hi, I'm Kenneth Wajita. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to the, maybe the last of a group of photo talks for a little while, but we'll see each other again. I may be doing some uh, photo classes and some workshops and some street photography workshops in different cities. So I'll put notes, I'll send out some kind of information on those. And this is probably the last video I'll do for a little while, but at the same time, I wanna leave you with a few things. Like a love. If you have Leica and if you can afford Leica, Leica film stuff is something that has got so much value, you can buy it cheap and you can use it and you can get rid of it. And it's not for everyone. Sometimes I'm using an SLR like a Nikon F2 or that F100 and I'll tell you, sometimes I feel like the Leica is great for small size, but the Nikons are great for being able to really precisely see what you're framing and to be able to see and to shoot in a in a way that's a different experience than a, a rangefinder. So for me, there's not one that's better than the other, and certainly Leica doesn't win hands down. Leica is good for some things. For me, pocketability. Nikon's good for great wide angle lenses and telephotos and really having a precise vision of what that, what that frame is going to be. And then Rolleiflex, those are my top three. If I had to say, what are the top three? Even as much as I want to say I like Hasselblad, I find a modular system makes it large and clunkier than the simplicity of that leaf shutter and the Rolleiflex. If you had to buy three cameras only, and only use those, I'd say get a Nikon FM2, a Rolleiflex 35F, and a Leica M2. But then I'm a 35mm guy and that one has 35mm frames. And those three cameras, you can pretty much do anything. And then if you want to pick up a few extras down the road, you can add to that. But those are the ones that I would say are creatively at the top of their game for what you can do. And at the end of the day, we're creating memories. We're documenting history. We're creating work that will have value, especially if we print it. So please print your photos. And remember the projects that you create the work that you're doing, the work that you're considering doing, you're not sure if you should do it, do it. We need your vision, we need your work, and we need everybody's work because we are the family, family documentarians. We are the ones who are documenting our towns and our lives and the things that we think sometimes don't matter, they'll matter. They just will matter down the road a little further, just like the Vivian Meyer stuff. Her work is beautiful, but it's also timeless we get to go time traveling to 1940s and 50s with her. Your work will be doing that in 60 years coming back to today. So don't ever forget how important your work is. Anyway, thanks so much for all your support over all of these episodes. Thanks for watching and we'll be back again someday. Maybe another project, maybe another kind of photo talks and or maybe these will just start up again because I'll have a zillion more ideas and a few more cameras. All right, thanks so much for watching.